I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw the skull and crossbones flag for a pirate. I take two fingers over here on the left and I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a flat baby circle. I come on the left hand side, draw a straight line down off the page. Right hand side, straight line down off the page. Right here at this point I'm going to draw a big curve line up, slightly curve line down, curve line over, and connect. I'm going to take one finger right here on the left inside and put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a curve line, curve line out, back to the dot, straight diagonal over, curve line, curve line again, straight diagonal down, and connect. Right in the middle, I'm going to draw another straight diagonal out, curve line, curve line, straight diagonal down, connect, and over here, jump over, don't draw through your paint, uh, drawing, curve line, curve line, straight line up, connect. I come straight up from the top and I put a dot. And from that dot, going towards the left, I'm going to draw a curve line down on the left, come back to the dot, curve line down on the right. Come back to the left, we're just going to draw a straight diagonal down, straight line down, little curve line in and leave it floating. Come on the right hand side, straight diagonal down, straight line, little curve line in and leave it floating. Come back to the left and we're just going to draw curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line up and connect. Come back to the left again, straight line down, slightly curve line over, straight line up, connect. Now we can fill this space in with little straight lines all the way over and across. Come up on the left, straight line, come up on the right, straight line, curve line down, up, connect, on the left, curve line down, up, connect, on the right, inside, curve line down, up, connect, on the left, curve line down, up, connect, on the right. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I want to do is color in my space right here black, this space black, these spaces black. And those are pretty dark. Now, the rest of this is going to be colored in black also, but I'm going to make it a lighter black. You can come back in and color it darker if you want. As a matter of fact, it looks good when it's really, really dark. But I don't want you to color so hard that one, you break your crayon, and two, you hurt your hand. So I'm going to show you what you do. Get that first color coat on. Okay? Come in and get this space. Because basically this is just black and white and we really want our bones and our skull to pop so you don't you want to try and keep those as white as possible now bring this up over down okay so that's one coat of color but you go oh, I'd like to make it darker come back in and do the same spaces all over again with another coat of black. See how this is darker now than this? That's because that's two coats versus one coat 
of color. Same thing here. You'll do a better job than me, but you can see every time you come back in with a different, not different, with an extra coat of color, you get a darker representation than what you had there before. Okay? So the darker you want your color to be is determined by the amount of times you color over and over. And that doesn't kill your hand, so this is a good thing to know. Now, I'm going to take my red and I'm just going to draw straight lines in the back. Not because I need them, just to add a pop of color. Some of you might want to take this and actually put it on a ship. We'll talk about that in Pirates in a minute. But just for a pop of color. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my skull and crossbones flag all colored in. If you saw this on a ship in the 1700s, you knew you might be in trouble. Okay, bye-bye.